The Wisconsin primary is just around the corner, and some say the winner of this state could have the momentum going forward. Wisconsin was a deep blue state with a lot of problems and debt under Democrat leadership, which is the case anywhere Democrats run the show. When Scott Walker was elected governor of Wisconsin, he implemented conservative principles and turned that state around. He took on the unions and won. He survived a recall election and everything else the lunatic left threw at him, including death threats against him and his family. He then won re-election, winning his third election in four years. With the left resoundingly defeated and the unions put in their place, Walker's conservative policies began to do what they do – lower unemployment, increase wages, and eliminate deficit spending. Walker's legacy in Wisconsin is a balanced budget, a rainy day fund, and a blueprint on how to defeat the left. And now, Governor Walker has endorsed a candidate for president. We need a leader in Washington who understands that our founders intended for the power really to be in the states and most importantly in the hands of the people, not concentrated in Washington. And Ted Cruz not only believes that, he's shown he's willing to act on that. I think probably more than just about anybody out there in Washington, he has shown he is not afraid to take on the big government special interest, even sometimes when they're aligned with our own party. We want people who are principled, common sense conservatives, who are people who do what they say, who stick to their guns, but also people who can both win the nomination and go on to defeat Hillary Clinton in the fall. And for that reason, I am proud to endorse Ted Cruz. So Governor Walker throws his support behind Senator Ted Cruz. This could greatly help propel Cruz ahead of frontrunner Donald Trump in the winner-take-all state of Wisconsin. This is a big deal. Not only is Wisconsin blue, it's the California of the Midwest. Right now, Cruz and Trump are in a statistical tie in that state with less than 1% separating the two candidates, and Walker's timely endorsement could tip the scales for Cruz. The other guy, John Kasich, is actually out of the race. He just doesn't know it yet. Wisconsin's 42 delegates will be decided April 5th. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.